I am embarking in a new project today from Michelangelo and hence I will therefore choose one of my new Blackwing pencils. Now we did the pearl and the Da Vinci drawing and I'm just gonna pick this very matte soft pencil and see how this will work out for me. I will do these drawings without any grid, I just by hand copy what I see. No measurements, just natural. <laughs> Two few minutes later, <gasps> I just do. Um, I am embarking in, in this, making a general outline. I don't know, I usually find it extremely difficult and hard to to put eyes into a face. It's easier just to make eyes and then put the face around. I have no idea why. Yet here it's like I'm intending to actually fix in my mind that measurement which I usually would do in a grid. So I am making a general outline. I don't wanna say I'm doing this an extreme hardship. Again, it's absolutely amazing how this pencil respond to different pressures. It's amazing. It's so smooth. Is it difficult? No, it's not difficult at all. It's very easy, but you have to pay close attention. That's all. The hardship is, or the difficulty lies in having the time and the attention. Faces is my ultimate joy, drawing faces human faces human faces work my way through step by step no the object is just to draw I, I don't pretend I don't intend to erase anything I haven't so far I kind of do, do not really wish to erase anything let's see So I'm doing this on a very, very soft and smooth paper, which is a bit creamy. And um, the paper has actually almost no texture. I would have said no texture, but since this pencil, this drawing pencil, not writing pencil, this drawing pencil is so soft, you can actually see like a bit of texture rising. You can see the texture coming out. Very strong, deep dark black lead, lead, Italian lead, lead. Now I pause for a second to put out my tea. I'm sitting in the car and it's really cold. I got a winter coat on and a hat and, and the windows are bischlag. <laughs> How do you say this? Bischlag. Hit on the bed freezing freaking cold I don't want to say it but you asked me to so I will never mind let's continue you have different angles and you make it look different yep I have seen me do faces but not copying while well, they go simple chang 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 and of course originally this is how this works but now we are copying so we're just gonna go step by step what do you mean by chang 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 I don't know just draw and eyes and draw this draw I have showed you many times chang 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 and then this not the first the eye outline and then but this time it doesn't really matter because we're just copying the only real difficulty I'm facing is that my pencil is not sharp enough, so I'm starting to put the lines in where I don't want them. I think I can need to go sharpen it. No, I, I find the outline pretty useless. I should have not done that, as usual, because it's not really very useful because 
so if you do the outlining then <clears throat> i'm opening right now the sharpener as i speak then um you get slobby right and if you do the drawing you can't be slobby so first slobby and then the drawing it never brings a good result not in my world it failed me twice it fell here and then again here is that too soft I do I do let my hand flow a little bit freely. You might say I, I, I'm sloppy because I'm not exactly copying the lines often. But otherwise, how would that be my paint, my drawing? And otherwise, how could I express anything which may be new? As in the Da Vinci, you could see that there's something more. There's a slight difference, which is actually um, from eyes totally closed to a little bit open and in the... <laughs> you might not be able to see it unless of course you look and paying attention just means to have um concentration absolute concentration so i wish to copy it but i also wish to see what comes out what's new and so it's mine mine today mine now again yeah and sometimes it's almost painful <laughs> the requirements of attention in this uh, maybe this is uh, like aerobics yoga or jogging it's kind of go and go and go and go and go and then they go against the, the whew, i don't know the exhaustion well my strength lesson i don't give a damn if anybody likes my things i must Having my hand a little bit free is so much more rewarding and makes so much more sense. It's so much more fun. <laughs> well, it's a choice, right? I mean, if I expect every line to be perfect, like it, the original, then I can't do that. But less of freedom is also less of expression. Yeah. Now, you have to zoom out when you do things. I mean, in experience, when you have experience, you see that certain, as I said in the last video with the Da Vinci hands, that even if it's unfinished, certain areas, you know that when shading comes in or whatnot, it's going to get better. But you still must zoom out every time. Are you satisfied with how it's going? with the outcome so far, the outcome in the process. And I am very satisfied right now with the outcome in the process. Of course I can be, I could now erase into every line perfect, but then again, sometimes just throwing it out there is, phew, gives this nice expression and movement, a natural movement. And do you recognize this shade? <laughs> That's the Botticelli Venus shade of the face and the neck. No, it's not hard at all. It would be easier not needing to copy. The hard, the hard hardship right now is this copying. But if I could do it by scratch, my own, that would be so much easier. Just put it out there. Well, art is precisely the precision of doing whatever you want. And I not express that. I don't know. Something is authentic and something you do as an artist you make choices. I mean Okay, when you see the painting, you can see that the skin is an amazing amount of time invested in the little details of every single line in the skin, which I hardly ever did. And that brings sometimes a different shading of which I also can't then do, of course, because it's not the same as shading everything like pink or any kind of skin color and having pretty white or ivory in the back. And then I have a little bit of coral, <clears throat> brownish, whatever. Tiny, 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 tiny lines everywhere in the face. A painting can do that when you have lots and lots of, you know, space to work with, not so small. What a drawing is better on a smaller scale I think
Is she cute? <laughs> I did um, just darker shading everywhere I felt at the moment had to be done darker shading because the eye almost vanishes in the shade Now I'm being pushed around to get sloppy I don't want to I'm being really pushed to just do it That's what they can do with me man Just push 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 quick 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 Mmm.